That scrambler ride at Ocean Beach Park is back open tonight after six kids were shocked yesterday riding it. One of those boys had his hands burned. All of them are expected to be okay. Tonight, we know what caused that freak accident. Glad you're with us. I'm Ann Craig. And I'm Darren Kramer. Investigators just holding a news conference there this afternoon. They now say a faulty wire on another ride caused those kids to be shocked. We first brought you this story's breaking news last night at 5. We just learned that the victims range in age from 4 to 10 years old. News 8's Tina Detail has the latest on what investigators have learned. He got electrocuted? Uh uh, that's what I'm, what I'm guessing happened. A family outing turns into a shocking and scary experience. A father and 10-year-old son transported to the hospital after riding the scrambler. He put his hand on one of the fences around the ride and it shocked him. Three other kids also feeling the electrical jolt. On Tuesday, the scramble to find out what happened as state and city inspectors are back on scene. Turns out that shock came from a loose wire on the nearby octopus ride. The faulty wire was on the center lighting column. When you look at the wiring, the octopus ride, the electric Electricity from the scrambler feeds off the, the wires that go to the octopus ride. Repaired and reopened. Lori Kennison was the first to climb on one of her childhood favorites. We heard about the issue yesterday and we were told it was all taken care of, so we decided to take a ride. It is awesome. Were you nervous at all? No. I was a little hesitant, you know, this morning, but once I talked to some people and they, you know, told me what, what the all the things that they went through. Um, we were fine. We saw all our people on it, so it seems to be really safe. Rave reviews after some got more chills than thrills. Yeah, I'd definitely be concerned. We have five kids, so yeah, it should be taken care of. I feel like they're, they're, they care about the people and their safety, which is good. Right, and yeah. for them to fix it that fast, that's, that's great. And that was News 8's Tina Detail reporting from New London tonight.